Yo, dog. Quick sound test. Check one, two, check one, two. How I sound, Ironhead. <coughs> well, I better turn off um, the Scary Terry alert. I just realized that was still going. Disable. Thanks, Pete. Crady's Berg. We are tracking loyalty, guys. <clears throat> Revlo is engaged. Viking tea bagger in the house. Top of this three, what's up, man? For Gen Z, John Bingham. All my people checking in. Dragon, low life, and what's up, guys? <laughs> Bromance engaged. T six Ted. Yes, Ty went in. The uh, frag cannons are what's up. <clears throat> They're literally the best thing I've ever seen. 25 points and it can be a last cannon or the greatest flamer on earth. And I love how you can take like unlimited units of like four of those with like one Terminator guy tanking for the squad. Yeah, nobody has heavy boulders anymore. host us damn it you gotta get swifty in here it's time to get swifty oh uh oh you gotta get swifty oh yeah oh yeah take off your pants and your panties shit on the floor key lime prime with the hosts key lime prime mm. 
All day. Let's turn off our timer. Everyone hype my man Keylon Prime up. Let's throw that man some love. Keylon Prime, fellow brush licker, on the hashtag Brush Lickers United. Now, apparently, if there's a brush licker streaming, all you have to do is hashtag Brush Lickers United and you can find them. Because you can't follow the group, you have to follow each individual painter, so that's handy. Um, whisper me the problem, Iron Headed. I'm losing it. Get it solved before anything. Desktop audio too loud. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. How we sounding, brother? Whisper me in real time. Testing one, two, three. Oh yeah, Swifty was loud, Iron Headed. I want to make sure you guys, sure you guys are still awake. Excellent. Thanks for the follow, Legends. You guys ready to start this show? Levels are good. We're tight. We're tight, dick players. Hmm. All right, guys. I say I'm a million percent. <laughs> that is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent! Woo, yeah! Hot my man, British Pete Up. Uh, he's the first official subscriber for our channel. Just resubbing. Love this guy. Player Jification checking in. What's up, my man? Drop down! Is anybody else experiencing volume issues? I'm getting multiples that sounds right on levels. All right, we're good. Me real quick. Nick P1 with the resub. Hype that man up. Love you, dog. Yo, dog, Katie Boucher here. Next level painting. Hitting you up on literally, literally the best of all days. On this glorious Friday, we're coming into you hot live tutorials. We got our buddy Keylon Prime on deck. Thanks for the host, my brother. Brush Lickers United. Right after the show, we're going to be going into Slow Fuse Gaming, my friend Jason. We're going to keep this party going, man. Also, new tutorials dropped on YouTube today. Uh, new tutorials dropped on Patreon today and the long, and the long word on it. The literal best of all days. Today we're going to continue working on the orc. I'm going to show off a couple of other models, including the tree lords. Um, we got a lot of things up on deck. We're off the heels of Tuesday. The Tuesday giveaway was Scary Terry. Um, that was pretty cool. Scary Terry found a new home with Mighty Cthulhu. Uh, Keylon Prime, do what you got to do, brother. Love you, homie. Um, so what we're going to be doing is. We're going to be doing uh, giveaways on Tuesdays. Um, so look forward to that. Tuesdays will be some form of giveaway, either a top donated giveaway or some kind of raffle. I don't have not decided yet. I think we'll start going into like a secondary raffle next month. But from now on, Tuesday giveaways, giving away some clutch shit. I want to welcome back Ironheaded, the greatest mod in the business. Back to the show. Missed you last week, homie. Uh, I want to congratulate um, 
couple of clutch individuals last week. Uh, first, second, and third place trying to win Scary Terry were all generous donators. Only one guy went home with Scary Terry. But the good news is, each one of them is just mere yo dogs away from redeeming an epic swag crate. We still have two, um, two 30k swag crates left and three Deathmask themed swag crates. So definitely anybody who's real close to redeeming, you're going to want to jump on that because the only other thing we have on deck, Slow Fuse Gaming coming in hot with the host, the best friend in the world. Love that man. So we only have five swag crates left and about three people are like this close to redeeming them. So that means realistically we're only going to have two swag crates left by the end of the month. But we still have like 30 gift bags left. And of course, we have the one of a kind Orc Decajet up in there. So don't worry, guys. We have raffle tickets for 180 Yo Dogs. Everyone got one free. If you haven't already used your free ticket to enter that raffle, definitely do it because you're going to want to win the 101 customized class painting tutorial with me using any type of video service you want. Customized curriculum. Um, and going into next month, we're going to be introducing even more hot swag. Without further ado, guys, um... What? Uh, Keyline Prime. <laughs> Keyline Prime, you can't see me. Throw that man some smear enough ice. Fellow stream team, he wants those emotes. He wants those emotes. Love you, dog. Okay, guys, so we're going to jump into today's intro video. Let's get that going. And let's talk about some works, guys. I know, I know, Keylime, I know you want him. So, anyway, guys, you guys remember the big mech from last week that we've decided he is Inspector Mech? We decided Inspector Daka lost his name privileges because Inspector Mech's too good. So inspect the neck mech. We did we cut all the metals in, we used all this airbrush technique. I showed you guys the pre-shading technique yet again. And right now we're just taking a nice dark, just thick, un this, totally just out of the bottle raw dog Vallejo black wash. And we're coming in and just dumping this wash off on all these metal parts. Letting it drain to the bottom. We'll wick away some of the, the heavy wash from the flat surfaces. But this is kind of how we've been doing these orcs. Incredibly thickly washed. Come back in for a sick dry brush over the chrome. This is a cr Vallejo chrome. So it's a very bright metal with a very dark wash. And then it'll receive another light highlight. It'll give it a very antique and pitted look. This is what we're doing for the orcs. I'm not using any brown in the wash whatsoever. Because we're going to be hand cutting in the rest ourselves. And it's this is... Because we have such a nice airbrush red on there, you want to be slow and very smooth with the wash application here because you see how it's, it throws rivulets of you know wash all over the place. You don't want that shit to land on your red tank here. So very slow here when you're going after the exhaust pipe. You know, and this is about the limit of what this bigger brush can do. You know, after this, I'll have to switch to the smaller brush to get in a little bit closer to those barrels. Yeah, no doubt, brother. You know, homie. But that's the name of the game, guys. You know, drop some wash off on these front plates. Like we've got this, we've got the um, the skull and crossbones uh, on the front here. Instead of a fairing on the front of this bike, it literally has a skull chained to some axes. And we're gonna do some interesting things with those axes too. They're definitely gonna get some love today. Same deal. Just pour that wash on, nice and thick. Let it drain. Come back in, you know, and suck up any of the excess wash as you as you need. But don't be afraid to let it just go crazy because we are going to come back and we're going to some rust. All sorts of cool effects and we're going to make this metal our absolute bitch. And now it's time to drop some, uh, download some black wash on these, train, these chains. So you just kind of want to, you know, be a little bit, you know, aware of how close those chains are stupid jeweler's chains are to that beautifully painted red barrels of this custom bike and just let it kind of just creep in to the links 
to help augment the overall look there. Real easy stuff here, but definitely be be careful with how much wash you load on the brush because you don't want it to be a disaster to flick a bunch of wash over into that red. When you're painting with an airbrush, a lot of times it is a very paint by numbers uh, formula after the fact. But last week we showed you that we airbrushed everything steel or chrome, then we airbrushed in the red, then we cut the chrome back in. I showed you how to make the airbrush just do work last week. So we we had to do very little actual paintbrushing of metal. The only real challenge here was to actually come back in and cut the chrome back in on these chains. That was the only thing that was time consuming. Uncle Bang checking in. What's up, my man? Rainer, what's up, homie? So as you can see, we're getting, I mean, it's already like a different model. Already a different model. Now we're just coming in and adding a little bit more rings of wash around these exhaust point entry point places here. Now here's something interesting. Here's a little bit of that umber wash mixed into the black. And we're going to attack that skull. And I showed you how to airbrush that skull real easy last week uh, on the front of this bike. I'm going to stir up that mix so it's a real dark brown. And we're going to just wash this skull, which we built up with uh, like beast hide brown and some bone colors. Some basic shit, you know what I'm saying? And we're just going to give this thing an aggressive wash to really just, you know seal it in as a nice piece of bone does work we didn't even have to paint this bone in all we had to do is paint some of those straps in and the and the, and the chains and I'm gonna take the little brush out after I put a whole bunch on there Logar was right Logar was right hype that man up Show that man some love. He just earned himself a bunch of yo dogs. Logar was right, homie. And so now we're using the little brush to just, you know, feather the wash into the tips of these horns to make sure it gets in all the crevices I want. Because there's more than enough wash already on this guy. You just have to manipulate it, you know. Put it where you want. That simple, guys. Valkyrie44 checking in. What's up, lady? Not bad overall. Getting a nice foundation on this bike. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, it's all about efficiency, guys. And now, real quick, let's pull out some Abaddon Black. Let's uh, paint that tire black again. You remember how I was bitching the last couple weeks about the tires not being glued in? I just realized this one I glued in. And then, like, as I'm painting, I was like, oh, they're so much easier to paint if they rotate. I see now. <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta learn the hard way. Logar, you're so ridiculous. So now I just cut in some of the handles on those axes, the handlebars. There we go. Seat is ready to accept some dry brushing and some details. This model is almost ready to go. We're going to add all sorts of cool shit here today, guys. Oh, look at that. The Method Boys. I pulled them out of the box. We are one HQ away and one plane away from finishing this whole unit right here, guys. I just felt like I wanted to show you guys that because I'm so proud of them. Just one second, guys. I realize I haven't done any of my normal online promoting so I need to just do two quick posts and I can see all the Q&A on my tablet still Uncle Bang thanks man also learned for some reason group pages flag my twitch channel link because I think they think it's a porno site <laughs> So I have to put a picture up instead because um, that sucks. We're obviously not a porno site. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how obvious that is now that I think about it. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
British Pete, will I have any killer cans in the list? Absolutely not. You can't even have killer cans in a list led by Zad Snark the Ripper. It's a speed freaks cult, man. They don't believe in that slow shit. You know what I'm saying? Next level pornin' all day. Reiner72, what's up? Oh, I'm getting some I'm getting some messages from Brent the great Ben Mole. If you guys remember, he is the creator of all these orc conversions that we're playing with. He's got some more shit he's working on right now. I might have to share it with you guys. Yep, I'm gonna save this image and share it with the stream. Cause this is too dope. Alright guys, let me show you something. If you guys remember, Bre the guy who converted converted the bike, um this whole bike and this guy's power claw, this whole doctor we've been working on, and the big mech. Brian Mole. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent! Oh yeah! I uh, see. First off, Gamma Goblin's coming in saying the group shot looks amazing. This really is a great shot because it does show off what our techniques look like. The consistency that we can create with dynamic contrast through color theory. And bright colors always do better, bro. Let me tell you, like, I hate walking by an army in the tabletop that's just an amazingly well-executed dark army because it never gets the love. So I learned a long time ago to create contrast with bright colors. The great Rob Bear is calling me. Watch this, guys. I'm going to answer this. Rob Bear, you're live on my stream right now. Live on stream? Yep, yep. Oh, man, it's not. Oh, well, it is Friday, isn't it? Good Lord. It is, it is the literal best of all days. <laughs> literally the best day of the week, no. So, if you want to if you want to talk to me, jump in the stream and throw some, some at next level paintings, homie. All right, dog. I love you. He hates it when I he hates it when I say that. <laughs> but um, that's the idea, guys. I appreciate what you're saying there, Reiner. But let's take a look at this Dakajet, guys. This is a Brian Mole special right here. This model is completely his model. It's not a kit bash. We are that is up right now on the redemption page on Revlo. Exclamation point orcs. 3,000 yo dogs, man. You can get one of these. Spoiler alert, in the future at some point, we're going to be painting one on stream too. So you can have a tutorial. But this is the guy, like I said, this is Brian. This is my man Brian right here. And he just sent me a, um, a picture of one of the other orcs he's working on because he's doing a whole Kickstarter dedicated to this like oaky or orky ogres that he's making. And here's one right here. Here's a total custom ogre orc uh, concoction that he's working on right now. Take a look at that, guys. That'll be in his Kickstarter. That is going to, you know, that is the theme of this quote-unquote orcs army uh, counts as he's creating. Look at them. Look how amazing that is. <laughs> Thanks for the host, my brother. Good old his markness. Axlin checking in. What's up, brother? Steve, 121 checking in. Third place last week for trying to get Scary Terry. Earned himself 1 billion yo dogs. Oh, uh, we haven't put on not a scientist in yet, have we? Oh, we have. It's in there. It would be. Let me show you guys some close-ups and some of the shit we're working on, guys. Okay. So everyone remembers th that the Watane clan is nothing to fuck with. So obviously, we've been painting the, the war boss for a while. We painted him, all his sick effects. Let me, let me slide him off camera. 
We finished the Pain Boy. Custom secret weapon bases. This is the Forge World Zad Snark the Ripper. He is the glue that makes the Speed Freak Army work. Here are our Jacket Jets. We have one more to paint. Each one of them with their own unique pattern. And the Rust Bucket right here. The triplane, all beat up, made of scrap. So these are all incredibly fun models to paint. This is Puppets War, the planes right here. Love these. And the Tri-Wing is the Green Baron. We have one more Green Baron. Spoiler, I also will have a Green Baron to give away. Uh, unpainted, unbuilt. I also have... Um, let me see if I can't track his ass down. We also have a couple more death copters from Cromlick. The Cromlick Assault Speeder, the Orky Assault Speeder. Which we painted these on stream too. Let me see if I can get the focus turned up right. Whoops. And he's got his bomb. Grim Kashini. Thanks for the host, brother. So here's that Cromlick Assault Speeder with the Orc dropping bombs. We got a couple of these in the list, too. Here is the model we're going to be working on today. We're going to do some SIG dry brushing and some effects on this. Okay, now, you guys ready to walk? look at these Tree Lords? Let's get this camera right up here. So I already showed you guys this guy. Let me, t let me get the light in a better position because I already know from experience that it'll wash out all the bright colors. So here's our fall themed Tree Lord right here. We have a tutorial out on Patreon right now that's going to be on YouTube next week on how we did this sword. This guy was a lot of fun doing all the OSL blending. Blending the skin was a metric fucking bitch. Blending all the autumn colors into the brown was really fun too. Okay, guys. Now, here is the Summer Grove. He's not 100% done. He's got some details left. But here, here's, here's where we're at here. Now, it's a shame that his whip arm crosses his chest. I just posted a tutorial on Patreon on how we did the OSL on his chest and how much actual blending went into his chest. Oh, that was a disaster. Let me uh, move the light. Mr. Mr. Light got, uh, got angry at us because I wasn't paying him no, no love. And he is a little temperamental. There we go. See if I can get in there in that chest. And so we have like all sorts of little blends inside the chest in there. Blending the greens into the browns to give them that, that viney look. But yep. There's, so there's a whole tutorial on how to do this OSL. This real subtle classy OSL. As you can see on all his runes. And we're still working on the whip. On the details on the green. And we're still going to have to worry on his, on his cock robe, his, his cock vines. But there it is. Summer. Fall. And the next one we're going to be painting will be the Winter Grove. Alright, let me check the Q&A real quick and then we'll start this tutorial, guys. Dragon, I appreciate it. Uh, Greenleaf Terrain Studio, what's up, brother? Excellent, appreciate it, man. Uh, 
I'll tell you the hardest part about these tree lords is that skin. That's all just hand blended because all the wood, and you can see we did very different woods. This guy's a very dark, like healthy wood. This guy's more sickly hot transitions in his wood. That's all pretty easy with the airbrush and using wash and airbrush. Coming back in and blending the peaks is a little bit more difficult, but the skin is absolutely the hardest part. The heartwood. Death of knocking. <laughs> I like the paint job on your thumb. What size hammer did you paint that with? <laughs> yeah, boy. He knows. Actually, it was a gate. Crushed my hand in a gate. Luckily, it was my left hand. Uncle Bang, just watched the video today in that purple. I'm glad, man. Yeah, we did a whole tutorial on that. It's up on Patreon now. It'll be on YouTube in two weeks. I think YouTube is checkers right now, freehand checkers. And um, next week will be the Tree Lord's Green Sword. And then the week after that will be the OSL Purple. OSL Purple. If I take the diffuser off the light, you probably won't be able to see the blends. There it is, see? See, I know you can't literally see any transition in the white whatsoever. Cad Cal. I'm just using a Logitech C920. Uh, for as far as webcams go, they are pretty much some of the best webcams you can buy, especially for the price. Like they're just a good deal, and they also have not uh, innate like H two six four compression. Iron headed, you don't want to see shit. I'll hold them in a better position so you can see the browns. If you guys, so I'll show you. I'll show you guys uh, since Ironhead is asking. Excellent. Like just blonde. Thanks for following. And you see, like that's basically just burnt umbers and um, beast hide type browns blended back and forth. That's like earth shades. And then we went in there and highlighted up a bunch of this green. And on this guy. Same kind of bird umber, but we brought a lot of sickly plague, like bubonic browns back in. Because he's like fall, he's dying, you know, like it's the changing of the seasons. And the sword, like I said, we did a whole tutorial on this sword. But enough show and tell, guys. Let's start a tutorial. Of course, we still got the rider right here. But we're going to work on this bike first. Harvey Ballstein. Thanks, brother. His Markness first Eldar color scheme. I really love. What's the one that's blue and yellow? That's my favorite one. Joe Darkblade on his iPhone. <laughs> iPhones don't like it when you use uh, slang. So, let me just uh, real quick put, I keep models in progress in a box sealed because I airbrush so much the dust, it'll they'll get dusted. So right now, just real quick, putting the Waltang clan back in their box at the foot of my, my uh, chair. And we're going to close the box. Because, like I said, I am not trying to come back and undust a bunch of fucking beautiful models that we worked on together on the stream. And let me get, get back in the cradle of obesity. Get my, get my coffee. Sorry, guys, I'm just putting the old um, tablet in a position where I can see it. Because.
because I need to be able to see what you guys are saying. Okay. Is it Iotolic? Is that is is that the blue and yellow? Axelin says I should paint a tree due to look corrupted. That would be sick. Drongomaticus, dabbing is the way forward for Vallejo washes. Yo, look how good this looks with just some, some gangsterness. And you're going to see here why we went so thick in just one second. <laughs> Remember, guys, we have the raffle. Everyone gets a free raffle ticket. If you haven't used it, follow the directions. Buy yourself some tickets. Why do I keep getting phone calls in the middle of a show? Let me just silence that shit. Can't talk. Text, motherfucker. That was the uh, great Marcus Parkus trying to talk to me about chaos, probably. Because now we have all the intel out on that. We just put out a podcast on that. Cradle of Obesity, best band name. Yeah, Toughness 3. I love that blue and yellow. So I'm going to grab a big old brush. Right, chon. And we're going to grab... Aluminum, because it's bright as shit, right here. We're going to move the orcs out of the way so they don't get any flecks of metal on them. We're going to pull out an old, uh, sorry guys, old ancient Chinese technique. Water bottle lid. Pour some of this bullshit in there. Slanesh Donkey. Throw that man some love. Love you, homie. Enjoy the emotes, brother. Alright. In case you don't know what dry brushing is, this is what it is. Shit is a hard technique to master, guys. So now what we're going to come in here and do is basically brighten all the edges up of this, leaving the super dark um, wash and all the crevices. Creating an antique finish. And I'm not overly concerned with the, the paint being super dry on my brush, because it is orky. And you can see how much work that are, that did with very little, very little work. And his name is John C. Richter Scale Studios coming in fresh, earning yo dogs. Mm, you can't see me. I will take that. Rick to Scale Studios, the king of contrast. Contrast is the number one thing my dad taught me growing up as an artist. And I always struggled with it, honestly, when I was a kid. Because I was always painting and drawing black and white pictures and stuff. And so there's, you know, you end up getting really aggressive to create contrast when you're only using one color and different values. The second I started getting creative with colors, though, I realized you can paint with nothing but bright colors and still create contrast. Which is what makes me happy about miniature painting. So I will always pick a bright color if I can. And even my dark colors have something electric about them. You got to come up with something exciting. Which is why I almost that's why I try to stick away from stay away from black as a major color. I will use it to you know for to augment things. I'll use it in the cut, you know. But I try my hardest never to use it on big flat panels and shit. So we're coming through, just antiquing this shit real quick. And you can see how good that metal is. That is some pitted... See, like that, that metal is not like... It's not like they don't maintain it. It's just old and used. And then any rust rings we're going to put on by ourselves. 
and we're using aluminum, which is one of the brightest metals I've ever seen from Vallejo. PC Marcus checking in the great Sean Brown, an official sponsor of this channel. Look for some sponsored gift bags by my man here soon. Big news. And also check out the panels down below. It has all his link information in there. Um, I use all his psychic tokens for when I play my Chaos Armies. Battle Cap Markers Industries. But um, big news. Secret Weapon is jumping in and sponsoring some gift bags. We might be doing a joint gift bag between Bottle Cap, uh, Battle Cap Markers and Secret Weapon. Also Elric's Hobbies coming in again clutch to sponsor another round of gift bags. And spoiler, we might be raffling off uh, an exciting model next month as a monthly raffle. As another option to spend Yo Dogs on. Since this is the month of chaos, and corn specifically, um, I might be starting October off with a new one box Bloodthirster raffle. Maybe 1,600 Yodogs to buy in. So when you get to the end of the month, you can decide basically if you want like a gift bag or you want a raffle ticket to win a $115 model. So now we're coming in. And we're just going to dry brush these weapons up. His Magnus. So you don't like black for flats, but would you say it's a good... What is a good alternative? I'm painting Death Watch. Yeah, I mean, that's... See, like, that's the big problem I have. Like, black in theory is, like, such a cool, intimidating, like, uh, color for armor and stuff. It's just hard to make it exciting. You know, now, something I've seen, like, OG Golden Demon winners do was paint all the black areas perfectly black and gloss them but nothing else on the model. So it was like lacquered black. I mean, that was like a whole year people were doing that. And I thought that was more interesting than like highlighting black. Like they paint everything, make it amazing, and then the perfectly smooth black surfaces were gloss. Uh, flip it for real. What kind of swag typically comes in the gift bags? Custom resin bases, custom objective markers, stickers. Maybe, um, maybe we'll start doing some some uh, artwork, some some like 40k artwork panels. That's the t that's a typical gift bag right there. We might even be doing some uh, discount codes from Secret Weapons. For October, in the box with some resin bases. So we're getting a good medal here, guys. Alright. Just trying to make this pitted metal look its best, you know. I'm going to get both sides of the bikes, and we're going to end on the axes on the front, because I'm going to do some cool shit there. Feeling good about that. <laughs> Gotta sneak in and do the gas tank. Sneak in here. Get the suspension system going. Eternal shiny and chrome orcs all day. Uh, R. Digart, 
how would you go about weathering black? I think uh, with black, what you really want to do is just some classy three-dimensional chipping with you know your paintbrush. We've done a few tutorials on that. Okay, getting a nice antique dry brush here. Let's get the control panel up top. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna finish off on these axes. I like uh, his mark to say I'm always using Vallejo gloss varnish. I love it. You just have to decide, man. Like, do you want it to be like metal underneath? Like, I think we did a, a missile around here. Hold on a second. Don't we have one, guys? Uh, I'll show you. I'll come right back to you one second. Let's dry brush this axe real quick. So I want to do a good job on these axes because we are going to come back and cut some details in on them. Like, I'm feeling like these big flat panels are going to get painted red or something. We're going to do a lot of effects. Like, these wires on this side are going to definitely get painted. Some classic orky, like, yellows and shit like that and, and reds. Big choppas. The good thing is, you only really have to dry brush what you can see. Like underneath, down here, I don't care. I don't give a. Sh I don't give a shit about that. All right, I'm gonna put the big brush down, and we're gonna grab a medium, a small, little bit of smaller brush, just to drop, just to download some aluminum right here. And even a little bit on these chains. Just in the middle. Like that. That simple. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do before I um, show off a chipping style is just because I want it to dry sooner rather than later, we're going to pull out the Vallejo... Dark Earth. We've done this on every single bike so far. German Grey is amazing. We're going to grab some of this. This is a pumice for doing textured bases and stuff. And this is what we're going to do. Because we've been doing every tire for the bikes. Like it's got dirt on it. So we're just going to basically cover the tire with this, make it nice, and then what later we'll paint it to match the base. We already know the colors we use in the base, so we can do that anytime we want. That's good enough. And I'll show you guys, if you're new to the stream, what we're talking about here. This is how the tires look and we're done. Something like that. And so what's cool about this Big Mac bike is that it doesn't have any of the normal red flat panels. So we have to make this skull interesting. We have to add some colors to these axes. And that's why we made the custom afterburners red. But let me see if I can dig out an example of black chipping. I'm pretty sure we did one here somewhere. Okay, here we go. On this missile. Might not be the best example, but I, but I think it'll get the idea across. As you can see, we just did a little bit of um, rusty brown in there. 
and then we just kind of painted a bottom highlight on the black there and then a little bit of a dark shadow above the rest and the illusion is that that we have some shipping on this missile simple Sorry guys, got to cover up the guys again. And then I'll interact with you guys. Let's do a quick show and tell session guys, you guys got any models you want me to show off on the stream for you? Post me some links, homies. Valor Steel, what's up player? Are you changing the base to the same as the other two? Oh, of course, yeah. We're going with all the new style bases. I just glued it on that base to hold, and then I'll snap it off later. Mitch Greer says, I've got my own custom Space Marine chapter called Dragon Warriors. Just thinking of having the bikes ride the mounts of the Lizardman line. Yeah, the cold ones? Yeah, I mean, Mitch Greer, I don't know, like... How creative you're trying to be, but like that's people been doing that for like 12 years. So it's cool. There's a reason people have been doing it for 12 years because it looks cool. But if you're trying to get more creative, um, I'm thinking let's get them riding bears. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show off a picture from Blue. Oh, more work in progress on the Wolfen. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do this. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Here's that converted Wolfen. <laughs> or I can see, yeah. Wait, is this the is this the Wolfen, or is this different? Damn, that looks good, homie. I like that. Did you add a little bit of gloss to the arm to make it look real super realistic? Axlin. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, the corrupted trees. Damn, that would be sick to do. Excellent. You won't be sticking around the stream tonight? Sick, so about to go to bed? Oh, man, I'm sorry you feel like shit, dog. I hate being sick. Sick. I only have two weaknesses in life. Getting sick and bullets. Darth Rob. I don't have Facebook open, so you have to send me the link here if you want me to share it for this Excellent. segment. I try to keep the processes low while we're on stream. Thanks for the follow, RH Burrows. Blue, I thought that was the second one. Low life and got something on deck. Let's, let's, let's take a look at what he's got here. Ooh. Low life, and you said this is your, what did you say, my first model so far. Not done yet, but still working on it. Let's take a look at what Low life has got here for his first model. I just want to say how mad I am at you right now. For, <laughs> for your first model looking this good. Are you kidding me, brother? Like, I only wish I had pictures of my first models. Ugh. The struggle was so real for me, bro. Copper, co Copper Cocious. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, homie. Like I said, guys, um, definitely use the commands like uh, exclamation point info and stuff like that because I want to make sure everyone, everyone who comes in who's never been here before gets a free raffle ticket for the one-on-one -on -one class. 
one-on-one -on -one painting class, guys. We're doing one a month. So I want to make sure everyone gets at least their free ticket in on that uh, and be aware that you, get a t that you get a ticket. And of course, if you use exclamation point redeem, you can see all the things that we have up under the redeem. You definitely aren't going to want to miss out on the, on the swag crates and the, and, the, and the gift bags. We sent out 30 gift bags this month. And I've already got like three more swag crates packed. Dumbo, you didn't, you, um, we worked on some orcs. We also showed off the new tree lords. I'll show them off again during the course of the show for everyone who's tuning in. What's Lauren saying about this? Where's she at? She got some of the uh, Mansions Madness figures. All right, guys, show and tell. I'll take one more before we go back to work. And I think if you Excellent. want... Slanesh Donkey, didn't you already follow us? But thank you for the follow again. Oh, you subscribed. Slanesh Donkey subscribed. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Baller mode. Thank you for both. I think that the command guy is, I think, I think you can do like exclamation point ticket space uh, one and you'll redeem one of your tickets. But don't do that if you already like redeemed your free one because then that'll subtract like 180 yo dogs. If you're trying to go after the give bag, don't do that. <laughs> NAR147. We had a little bit of a server problem the other day. We, um. Real quick, let me get to Harvey Ballstein. Nate in the countryside. Burn a Nate in the presence. Oh, yeah. Love it, brother. Show Harvey Ballstein some love. Thank you, my brother. Ice that man. So we, um, NAR147, we had a little bit of a server issue. There might be a hiccup in the system. Definitely email Rob. He is the, the, uh, Colt Mechanicus, uh, Tech Marine, whatever that shit's called. He, uh, he's, he, that's his L, his realm. Uh, if you just email 40k, uh, longwardgmail.com, it will shuffle down the line. We'll get, we'll, we'll get you sorted out, brother. Somebody was attacking our site the other day. All right, guys. Let's go back to work. So I want to work on... I want to focus mainly on the front of this bike for this tutorial and get some fresh, fresh transitions done here. So I want to block in some of the panels that we're going to work on here. And then I want to detail the skull out. And do some do some sick shit. I got you, Nara one forty seven. Yeah, iron headed. Somebody definitely was going after the this the server yesterday or last couple days actually. Okay, so let's let's talk about some of these details. So do we want like I, I think that should we paint these they have checkers on them like these little flat panels right here I mean I don't know I don't know yet like I'm kind of feeling it you know we got everything sorted out though but there might have been some sign up hiccups I think it's with the mailing so I might, I might have lost automated privileges for a day. Let's just move some shit out of the way, guys. I'm getting some black. Getting some white. Warning stripes, huh? You want us to do some warning stripes on these? Be the only warning stripes we've done.
All right. Get the boss. Let me see if I have a, br a brown I can I can lead with. I always like to lead with a brown. Iron Headed, where's my brown? Where's my orange brown? Before you say it, it's not on the floor. I don't think. <laughs> Where be the brown? So many paints. So many paints. Oh, I found it. It's too late. You already said I had to do it. So we'll pull out a little bit of orange brown to get the show started with. At the very least, we'll have some cool yellow here, so I'm not too concerned. This is just uh, Vallejo Orange Brown. Yeah, that works. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by painting these panels with the orange brown. It's a little waterier than I normally would apply it. Micho, Michael Cho, the leader of Brush Lickers. Coming in with the host. Thanks, brother. Alright, just a quick orange brown here. Doesn't matter, Dama. You're the you were the boss. You gotta stick by your decisions. Let me get a little bit more water. What the fuck? Goddamn Twitch app is just riddled with ads on my tablet. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I can always blame Dumma. <laughs> we need to, yeah, we do need to start doing straw polls for these things. I kind of like my style of first guy to tell me what to do, we do. Let's see if you guys are out there awake. Sal Doc checking in, man. What's up, Sal Doc? Sal Doc was the first winner of a swag crate ever. What did you get in your swag crate again? So quick orange brown right there. <laughs> nice. Getting chastised by Lauren. We're going to pull out this golden yellow color because I don't use this enough. Tell Lauren to log in on her computer and get her own handle so she can tell me herself. Shaking up this yellow. We're just mixing up a little bit of orange, the orange brown in there. Just yellowing it up a little bit.
Simple, simple, guys. Just working our way up to yellow. <laughs> Word. Fair enough, Lauren. Dumb, get her a computer. You owe me one anyway, because I'm doing this for you. So that totally is equal to you buying a computer for somebody. <laughs> Ty Wendon knows what's up. Apothesis UK. You know what I'm talking about, homie. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So just yelling it up a little bit, and I got and I I'm aggressive. Like I like wet blending because I like I have I have an instant gratification addiction. A little more yellow, but that's about the limit. We can before we have to let it dry a little bit. This is still kind of watery over here, so we're going to let that dry for a minute, and then we're going to yellow it up a little bit more. While that's drying, though, I already know... we got to talk about some of these cables. we got to talk about, like, this part of the axe back here. This right here. I already have an idea. Already got an idea, guys. Hmm. And now that Iron Headed's back, he should be updating your guys' yo dogs in real time. Last week we had to wait to the end of the show. And there was a lot of um excitement with uh Scary Terry. But today, this week, everything should be live, real time, exclamation point yo dogs to see how many yellow dogs you have. So, uh oh, what am I doing, guys? What is this? Why am I doing this? Why'd I just paint that gray? Dama, you got inside my head. You did. You told me to do this. Telepathically. Through the orc unconscious. Just painting these up gray. I don't know why. Don't know what we're doing here. Solid gray. Excellent. <laughs> Hurry, Kenny. Paint gray. Doesn't sound like me. Fine. I made this up. Quick roll call. Dog Gers. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, player. Just adding a little bit more white to the gray while it's still wet. So we got a light gray now. All right. All right. Switch back to yellow.
Add another thin layer of yellow to this mustard yellow we've already created. One second, guys. Turn this bullshit down. This golden yellow is a little chunkier than I want it to be. It's old. Nice thin layer. Thin, thin, just subtle yellow color ch change right here. Let that dry for a minute. Clean the brush. Come back to it in one second. Iron headed checking in. Love you, dog. People are earning yo dogs left and right. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let me move the light around. Let me get let me get in the cradle. Dumbo, you now you want me to paint it yellow and then you want me to wash it too? God man. Literally the most demanding person I know. Get it right. Get in the cradle. No. This is dumbest fault. Locking in some uh, looks like checkers. Is that is that is that what you call these? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dumbas Dumbas all over this. He's like, yo, do this, do that. I'm in charge of this stream, not you. Just tell me what to do. Lauren, is that how he is at home too? Excellent! Thanks for the follow. Um, damn, I just missed it. Qua Kane. Thanks, brother. Sneaking some checkers in. Just blocking them in super quick. Up, oh, wrong scene. I mean, like, we just sketched those in. Like, they're not even close. Vaughn Badgeworth, what's up, pimp? Um, you've only missed about 40 minutes or so, I guess. Maybe longer, maybe an hour. We just started working on some freehand shit on these orcs. Building up some dumbas, just like literally do this, do that, telling us all these things we gotta paint. We 
just making some nice, happy checkers. Ah, off the screen. Iron-headed, that was your fault. Alright. Sneak that shit in. This is a bitch. Dumma, why you make me do this? This is not easy. This is one of those times if you hear me say, this is easy mode, guys. I'm lying. It's not easy. We gotta come through and we gotta, like, clean up the, the gray now after we get these checkers built in. Um, rapid face punching. I've got most of the stuff I work on up on nextlevelpainting.net in the gallery. You know, you can check me out on Instagram, shit like that. The orcs don't have much of a gallery just yet. Guess I should get on that. All right. Come on, checkers. The irregular shape of these horns makes it a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. But we did them on the... Um, the Pain Boys banner, and that was hard too. So we just so there. I mean, there's a nice base starting place for checkers on the horns on these double axes, and then we're gonna do some caution stripes on these front panels as ordered to by our supervisor. All right, so we're gonna grab a little bit more yellow, golden yellow. Another thin coat. Just like this. Lay it right in the center. Just get a nice clean build up to pure yellow. So now, and then of course we're gonna have to cut in all these wires and all this bullshit, drop some rust in there, but we are gonna do some chevrons hopefully in here. Thinking like cut them inward on this side and cut them left ways on this side so they face into a V. So it'll be a caution pattern that creates a chevron, you know. Let's do some cute let's do some uh, show and tell time guys. Let me see what you guys are working on while I take a nicotine coffee break. Of course, like I said, we did some really irregular checkers on this and on this. So that is obviously what we're doing here. Oh, you know what? Real quick, since uh, some people are new to the stream and didn't see, let me do a quick show and tell of my own. Let's show off the Tree Lord again. Because some people didn't get to see him. So, of course, here's our old Tree Lord. Right here. So we have tutorials out on Patreon on how we did the sword and everything, and I showed you guys exclusive Twitch videos on this guy. 
but we just finished. Well, he's not 100% finished. He's like 90% finished. But here's the um, the summertime lord. And we just did a video on how to do this OSL purple. We focused on his chest. It's a whole video on it. But this is the summer grove right here. Purple's coming out fresh. They're, they're popping with the greens. Very bright. Very cool. And we have one more to do. We have to do the, the winter grove next. So I just want to show you guys that. Post some links up for your own show and tells, guys, so I can see what you guys are working on. Please. Vaughn Badgeworth, ain't nothing to be worried about, homie. Dumma, make orcs great again. You speaking the truth, homie. <laughs> Dumma. You're right. This is all your fault. You want me to get an Afro tie winning? I mean, I guess I guess I can have one if I want one right now. Post up some links, guys. Unless you don't want to, if you don't want to, no worries. Nye two two two. I use um, I don't use oil. I don't like the dry times. It doesn't interact with what I do. BC Markers, I'm working on artwork for Chaos Psychic Powers that are coming out in the Traders Hate Book. Super smart, brother. If you guys don't know, Bottle Cap Markers, or sorry, Battle Cap Markers, one of our sponsors, um, you can see his uh, info panel down here in our list of sponsors. Check him out. He's got some dope shit. Makes the sickest markers in the in the game. Anything, bro, Dumma. Anything that's painted related that you're working on, post a picture, man. In the meantime, I'm pour myself a drink, finish my coffee. It's almost five. Mm. Time for some iced tea, guys. My five o'clock iced tea. <laughs> and I'm going to do a quick shout out. Rook to Scale Studios. Come in clutch with a $25 donation, man. He says, donation for the King of Contrast. I will cheers to that. Gamma Goblins. Logar was right. Appreciate it, homie. Donations. Keep the channel running. Helps me keep the lights on. Helps me put the models in those swag crates. Can't do it without you. Also, cheers to our new subscriber, Keyline Prime, Slanesh Donkey, um, feel like I'm missing somebody, British Pete and Nick P1, thanks guys. No one's throwing links out there? Alright, back to painting if that's the case. Oh wait, hold on, I see some people throwing some in there. TC. War Room Adepticon team. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can show this off. You did the Imperial Guard. You were Adepticon? Did we did we talk to each other? We got best heretical team this year. So you did all this IG right here. Very cool. Very cool, homie. Hey, 
And you painted the board. Dragon, let's see what you were working on. Oh, damn, that's a bitch of a model. Good job, TC War Room. Take a look at what Dragon was working on. Damn, that's some fresh detail work. Nice and clean. Good job. Yeah, Iron Headed, what's up with that? Guys, we got to break some records this month. We already had a, a, a record-breaking stream this month, though. We did 160 people one day. The max doesn't matter. It's more about we have an average, um, tight-niche community of people. That's more important. Let's take a look at Von Badgeworth. Hoping this link works. Highly converted Forge Roll Imperial Space Marine. Oh, it does. I think I can save it. Ah, oh, web's so dumb. It's like whenever people share these types of links, it's like some fake Facebook link. But I think I can get it. I can. I'm a snippet. All right. I'm going to show off this uh, Forge Hole Marine, guys. Take a look at this. Istan Von 3. <laughs> Make chaos great. This is awesome, brother. Good job. Von Badgeworth got skills. Ooh. I'm down to take one more show and tell before we get back to the tutorial, guys. Bad monkey, that's interesting prospect. Oh, we got a close up of the gun. Let's take a look at this. From Dragon. Wow. <laughs> you go, girl. That shit is tight. Good job, good job. Don't forget, guys, to check your yo dogs. Check the Revlo page. See what the things you can redeem this month are. Like I said, I have plans to go even bigger next month with some new ideas. And here's a little bit of intel from the front lines. We're going to be doing some t-shirt giveaways. I'm in the process right now of designing our first Always Keep the Tip Clean t-shirt with a fresh-ass design on it. And um, I'm pretty sure we're going to spearhead it with some giveaways. All right, last one, guys, before we get back to the show. My boy Nick P1. Oh, damn, dog. Damn, this guy just made my, my tree lords look stupid. Take a look at this. Gigantic picture, first off. Let's 
It's looking so good, homie. I love the face. That's the one that we're painting winter next. That pose. Dumbo, your gift bag should be there this week, man. Either today or tomorrow. Monday, the latest. All right. Looks like some people forgot to put X at next level paintings. So I'm going to do a couple more. Oh, here's a sick work in progress picker right here. By 4 Gen Z. Take a look at this. Got a whole Demon Kid page. But look at that Lord. This army's coming out fresh, homie. Dog, good job on that skin. Sin for game. This is a great looking picture right here. Good job, brother. Four Gen Z. This is the last one. I'm going to show off Sin for Game real quick, and then we're going to get back to it. Good job, Sydney. Good job on that robe. That shit looks so good. Yeah, Dumba, sometimes they do deliver on Sundays now. Yeah, Canada Post is brutal. Looking so fresh. Okay. You guys doing great work out there. Let's get back to it. Dumba. No, I don't have any tracking. There's no way I can manage. I don't have an automated system yet. I just can't manage 45 tracking emails. You know what I'm saying? I have the receipt, you know, but that's it. Like, I, I can't just go in there and manually input, like, that many emails, you know? But... As we get bigger, we will get more automated. That's my next major investment is to upgrade our shipping operation so we can just have a kind of an email list and uh, print our own shipping labels and do our own weighing and everything. We're, I mean, we're still like a month or two away from like that, that growth model. If we, if I end up having to mail another 30 um, gift bags this month, then you best believe October, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> Dama. I do have tracking. I'm just not going to write up fucking 40 emails. And if I'm not going to do 45, I'm definitely not going to you Dama. Especially after you made me do all this shit. Like, this is all, this is all his fault. Mighty Cthulhu checking in. Blood for the Blood God. He is the winner of Scary Terry from last week's giveaway. Hype that man up, please. And do not hype up Dumma. But you can hype up Lauren. We like Lauren. All right, so we've built up some of the yellows here. We're working the checkers into this dashboard. Let's switch yellows real quick. Go to flash gets. I think we can pull a little bit of flash gets out of this pot still. It's pretty stale in here, but I think it'll still work. Oh, she's asleep. 
taking naps on us. All right, so a little bit of water down flash gates. Just like that. Just like that. Pretty easy. Some thin layers. Just gotta build the layers up. And we started this with orange brown, gold and yellow mixing with orange brown, and then now for pure flash gates, all just thin layers. And now we have a nice, a nice orky fied yellow. Teaching third grade, ugh. Yep. <laughs> Playerification. Jesse, thank you for keeping the mighty Cthulhu honest. He should be ashamed of himself. Catching all them Pokemons. Making his life not that easy these days, I guess. He's so jealous of where I live and how many more Pokemons I can catch. Okay, so we're going to pull out some white. Gnome Nuts, what's up, player? And we're going to get this thin down white. And we're going to start highlighting up some of these checkers. The faceless over here says this looks sexy. Thanks, man. Cosmic Cubicle checking in. He is also a streamer doing some sick work. Check him out. Orca find some checkers real quick. Cosmic Cubicle with the host. Thanks, player. Love you, homie. Just adding some classy white in here. It's hard to get the angles right on this shit and keep it in frame. Whitening up those angles. We've done this before. But it's fun to just like say, hey, you know what? Let's put some checkers on some shit. Without even over without even thinking. We're not checker scientists. We just like what we like. Speaking of which, our newest YouTube tutorial up on YouTube right now is about checkers. So now what you want to do when you after you lay down some nice checkers like that is you want to come in there and drop a nice little line between right on the edge of the black and the uh, white. Really drives it home. We got another checker up here that's being cut Excellent. off. Matt, 1,000. Thanks for the follow, homie. The checker right there. Checker right there. Looking fresh. Hmm. Faceless, thanks for the host, brother. I 
appreciate it, guys. You guys are doing some work out there, man. Definitely check these guys out. <laughs> Sal Doc. Hilarious. Turns out um, I didn't have the idea to paint any hazard stripes on here. I was ordered to by our supervisor, Dumma. It is a host party, guys. Having, a f having fun. And today is our Action Pack Friday bromance where I pass the torch to my man Slow Fuse and we keep the party going. So today, Fridays and Tuesdays are pretty big, pretty big days for me. We get to do a lot of fun stuff on stream. Remember, Tuesdays, we're going to be doing model giveaways every Tuesday, at least for a while. So look forward to that. I'm hoping to give away some chaos shit here real soon. New chaos book just dropped. Pretty excited about some of these formations. Cult of Destruction, Chaos Warband, Fists of the Gods. These are some of my favorites right here. Yep, that's Low Fuse Gaming right there. He's the man. Taught me everything I knew about airbrushing. Stupid Orc Checkers. Just all day, every day with these Orc Checkers. Remember what I told you about we gotta get those borders nice and neat. Some watered down uh, white to help us whiten up the gray. But the linchpin of the effect is definitely what we do with the black part of the checkers. And you can see, the cool thing about orcs is you can basically put checkers anywhere and make it look cool. It's not hard. I mean, it's not easy, though, too. Checkers are kind of a bitch. All right, we're going to let that settle down. And we're going to pull out some black, and we're going we're gonna to do our best to draw some chevrons here, okay? This is not an effect I, I, I typically do. I usually try to airbrush this whenever, wherever I can, but we've been ordered to. Thanks for the high five, brother. All right, all right. See if we can do this. I'm gonna switch paintbrushes. I think I got one that's a little bit more detailed than this one. In the more baller jar. John Bingham. Every way to paint red is valid. I just like showing you guys there's more than one way to do it. You can literally paint red so many different ways and capture so many different effects. When I'm trying to get the smoothest, most natural transitions, I do the pre-shade. But I'm just looking for some solid looking reds. I'll, I mean, I'll do the burn ember. Like, we have a whole tutorial on how to do that. <laughs> it's going to be black. Dumb, I'm not letting you ruin this model. Sorry. You've already done enough. Gotta be black, homie. Alright, let's see if we can get in the cradle. And how we're gonna do this. Thinking like that. Does that look wobbly? It feels wobbly. Mm -hmm. 
feels wobbly. Viking Sea Baggard is painting green work the same way of appreciating red, green for red. Look, man, like the easiest way to appreciate is just using black and white. The only reason I use green is because it still works with red as a complementary color and you can get your reds to be a little bit more vibrant. But black and white will work for anything. Dropping another one right there. And then we're going to bring them in the opposite angle on the other side is the idea. So let those dry as I establish a little bit of a pattern. the shit out of me. <laughs> oh man, my camera's as low as it can go. I like what you're saying. I like where your head's at. Real quick, quick shout out to my man Cosmic Cubicle coming in clutch with the donation. Love you, brother. Hype that man up. Should lower your cam. The ladies can't see your, your triceps, dog. Um, I don't think the ladies tune in for my triceps. They tune in for the amazing paint jobs. But if one lady comes through and says that's the reason she tunes in, then I'll change the camera angle. <laughs> Love you, Cosmic Cubicle. So let's try to figure out the chevrons on the other side real quick while those are drying. Something like that. All right. Now, now it's all about just cutting it back and forth and creating as much definition as possible. All right. Now it's just about cutting shit in. Let's see if we can do it. Mr. Cosmic Cubicle earned himself some Yo Dogs today. Oh, too watery. All right, all right. So this first one, we kind of went hard to paint on this one. I'm not totally happy with this one's layout. But we're going to work with it. Because we're going to cut it back in. It's paint. I can always cut it back. Cad Cal, nope. The 
gift bags. The gift packages, um, the gift bags are sponsored with a theme, but they're not all identical. No way. Sin for game, ancient Chinese techniques. Wait, what happened here? What did I miss? Sin for game checks in for the ancient Chinese techniques. Yep, and absinthe too. See, I told you, Saldak. Saldak. They're not here for the triceps. <laughs> Which, so that means Saldak's here for the triceps. All right, so we got a pretty good start in place. And his name is John <laughs> My boy Saldo came on clutch, earned himself a quick, quick 200 yo dogs. It's a sick bike. Thanks, man. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A billion percent. A million percent. Oh yeah. T6 Ted, thank you, brother. Hype those people up. T6 Ted and my man Saldo, thank you. Appreciate it. Love you, homie. Death's a knocking. Top three painting tips to share with beginners. No matter how much an airbrush costs, get one. Definitely my number one pick. Don't wait. The longer the wait, the longer you wait, the more just time you waste in your life. Buy an airbrush. Number one tip. Number two. Don't be afraid of your airbrush. Literally experiment as often as possible. And number three, don't let your airbrush replace your paintbrush. It's all about the airbrush. Okay, so we got some wiggly ass org lines in here now. Now I want to come. Now it's what it's going to be. This effect is going to lean on what we do with the yellow now. Sal Doc, triceps for life. You know, only other guys are impressed by triceps. That's what I learned lifting weights for years. Oh, sorry. I mean, I've never lifted weights. I mean, I'm just talking about like what I hear. Um, I just paint. As far as I can tell, ladies don't give a shit about muscles. All right, so now it's all about cutting in that yellow. So we've got a pretty good basis here for, for these checkers. And chevrons. So we got a good, you know, you know cattle guard on the front of this thing. We definitely want to now add some sick highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab an orange. I'm going to grab, um, looking for my color, hot orange. It's one of my favorites. Uh, sh 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 um, Iron Headed, where'd you put hot orange? That's bloody red. That's not hot orange. Where you at, hot orange? That is orange fire. That is not what we want. Hot orange behind the tablet. Ancient. Chinese hiding spot. <laughs> Listen to this guy. <laughs> Fucking dumb, I can't make you happy. Viking tea bagger. Oh, the scary Terry tutorial. Mighty Cthulhu has a lot of yo dogs. <laughs> Hot orange right here. I'm going to pour some out on my table because I forgot to pull out a fucking piece of. Forgot to pull out my palette paper. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm grabbing a piece right now. Okay, got a piece on the on the table now. I'm gonna pull out some golden yellow because I'm gonna drop. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little bit of this hot orange, mix in with this yellow. And we're going to add some borders to this. Let's see if we can lock ourselves in. Ugh, so hard. There it is. A little bit of hot orange underneath the black stripe. Uh, Mike and T-Bagger, the, the effect used on Scary Terry, green to white, then red over it, would that work with reds? to white then green over it what I, my answer to you is you don't need to overthink it with a color like it typically the colors usually have to lean on a complementary color it would probably work but you don't have to especially since green like and the only reason we we really appreciate for red is because red is a hard color to paint and so is yellow green just builds up just fine I wouldn't even appreciate to use green I only pre-shade when doing red. So dropping that hot orange underneath. Right here. And now what we're going to do is go get our flash gets back out. Sal Doc, I live like crazy, but I noticed that I can pl I compliment myself way more than my wife does. <laughs> yep, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> That's exactly the situation. You got your uh, water eclipse yesterday, Viking? That's awesome, brother. Yeah, if you really think about it, Iron Head made a point. If you really think about it, we just painted all that green without a pre-shade, and then we pre then we put the red over it, illustrating that green paints all by itself. Blending a little bit of flash gets back in. Just like so. Just trying to orange up some of this yellow to really help me with the transitions. I want the yellow to be exciting. Yep, next level Iron Warriors bike. So what I'm going to do here is get my black and my white out. And we're gonna cut in some black. Just, I wanna, I wanna focus. I wanna finish one before I do the other, just so I can learn how to do this. I really haven't really ever painted caution stripe before without an airbrush. Let's 
definitely the first time I've ever done this without an airbrush. All right, so I'm gonna mix up a little bit of gray in my palette. And I'm gonna try to draw a thin gray highlight on the bottom, is my idea. Get a little bullshit on the tip of the brush though. Right here. Killing time painting, what's up, man? Thanks, brother. Just stopping by for a quick check. You working? There it is. Dropping that lighter gray highlight down off in the bottom. Going back to black. Let's bring that black back in to kind of curate that highlight a little bit. Give it a real textured look because it's orky, you know? Just like that. And when I draw these little highlights, I like to keep a black border on both sides of the highlight. That's kind of like my, my favorite thing to do with these. And so now I'm getting some more black out. And we're gonna definitely reinforce the center. But more importantly, fix that black border between the yellow and the gray. Give it a nice, fun, orky look. Sal Doc, you said you listened to the podcast on the new cash lease after reading comments in the 40k face group group. People were hating on it, but there's some good, there's some play. Some play. Yo, how does um, nine obliterators that shoot as much as 18 obliterators for the price of 13 obliterators sound when paired with two renegade knights? People aren't ready for that. All right, I need to just drop one more gray highlight off here. Just going back and forth until I get it right. The weird angles in it make it a little bit difficult to maintain a straight line because you see that there's like an angle to that plate. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's kind of the look I was going for. It is code. It's totally Codex Ironwares. Yeah, the new psychic powers are definitely going to augment. But how much more can you really augment them? You know, like a Cyclopean Cabal was already rolling with a B star with two up and vulnerable. You really can't kill that. You know. So, what's the difference? You know, like... The new Psychic Powers...
The new second powers are strong, the Librarius powers. But a lot of tournaments have outlawed, you know, electromagnetic displace displacement. And the other one, the one unless you move the terrain. So, some of the best powers you can't even use half the tournaments you go to. Draw a couple of quick highlights in this black on this one. Ugh. Managing so much color. Orky, Orky glit, Orky, Orky, Orky. This is definitely Iron Orcs. I do like that. <laughs> we actually made an Iron Warrior Orc bike. Killing Tom Payton, you out of here, homie? That's true, Chris. I hate, I hate MSU. So, like, everyone's allowed to hate what they hate. Drop a little bit more yellow off on this. Orcifying it. Grab going back to black. And we're gonna draw our little border. Right here. Oh, tiny dog alert. Tiny dog alert. Damn it. Can't get that line to work. Like, Death Stars only exist because armies like Eldar and Tal were so strong in 6th edition. Like, there was not nearly as many Death Stars back in the day. Nah Bikers was like the first real Death Star. All right, I'm going to take a quick nicotine break, communicate with you guys. Let's do a quick show and tell session. session. And let's talk about it, guys. Let's do some Q&A action. Back in business. Back in business. Iron Headed, can we zoom in on the bike? That's not close enough for you? Camera's literally seven inches away from the bike. <laughs> like you want. Problem is the angle. Like you want to look at the front of the bike, it has to be propped up. So let's see if I can prop it up for you guys. With some ancient Chinese technique.
Still working on some orky. Orky caution stripes. I don't like how fat this one is. Right here. I might come back in with more. With basically with more orange. And try to cut it back. With a couple of thin layers into the black just to broaden the yellow and then I can cut the yellow back into the orange because the orange like literally doesn't the yellow does not want to go over that black so that's basically gonna be my solution for fixing it is doing just some subtle orange or some light oranges So that works, right? And then what you do is you grab the um, the golden yellow. We mix some of the golden yellow in, and we see if we can combo the, the yellow off of the orange. Like that. We gotta let that dry before we bring it up another notch. And then we're just gonna, and then we can cut that orange back in slowly to yellow. A little too fat. <laughs> Dumb, I give me shit. Just zoom. I'm not going to zoom, dog. The whole point of a camera crane is that I don't have to distort the quality of the picture using the digital zoom feature. Special feelings. Yeah, we talked about that on the show. Nino Blitz, Three Warsmiths, Cabal, Terminator Armors. All right, let's show off real quick. Valkyrie, do you have the finished brass scorpion? You can take a picture real quick. Yeah, but um, BC markers. Like, yeah, like obviously you can reroll the save, but I was saying it's like half the tournaments that you play at don't let you reroll two of saves. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when you have a tube and vulnerable, four funeral pain, eternal warrior, you don't die. So making the save rerollable, you still don't die. Like the power, like the best powers on the list are the ones that let you move your units around. You know, they're good. But we don't have the right kind of units. That's the big problem with chaos. Like, we don't have a good Death Star. I mean, we do, we have playable Death Stars, but like the chaos, I mean, the Space Marines can do so much more. Let me jump into Ty Winning's picture. It's hard to show his pictures off because they're always so tiny. All right, I'm going to show off a Ty Winning exclusive right here. All right. Pictures. Here's Ty winning on deck. Excellent. Fossil Parrot. Thanks for the follow, brother. Working on his little battle force right here. Sorry for the small picture. Looking good, my man. Chaos Ascendant. Ooh. Got that Malafine.
Good job, Ty Winning. Let's show off this um, Chaos Ascended Malafine real quick. Pow! Malafine. That's my kindred spirit. T6 Ted, you fixed the cape. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pinoy Gamer, War Gamer, thanks for the follow. Truly appreciate it. Quick shout out, um, Sadok, Cosmic Cubicle, Gamma Goblins, Logar was right. Um, Richter Scale Studios, thank you guys for the donations. Donations equal yo dogs. And we still have swag crates and gift bags in the queue. You're going to want to check those out. Love you guys. You guys make this possible. Downloads. Here we go. Oh shit, it's so big. I paint on Zinch. Or Twitch, sorry. Zinch. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, homie. Take a look at this. Good job with that cape, brother. T6 Ted, good job, man. You did it. All right, let's take a look at Valkyrie, one of my favorite people on the internet. She did it. Iron Warriors, Brad Scorpion in the house. Looking so good. Let's take a look at this, guys. Damn, <clears throat> we gotta take lessons for painting stripes from her. My stripes suck. Look at our stupid stripes. That looks so tight though. Good job, man. She crushes it, man. She's got a painting studio on Facebook too. Why don't you post up your Facebook uh, page, Valkyrie? Yeah, that's my favorite one, uh, BC is dropping the Invol save by two, but here's the problem with Maledictions. They don't work against Space Marine Death Stars because they always have a Shield Eternal. Like, so they're always, worst case scenario, going to be blocking Psychic Powers on a four. So if you're trying to augment your unit and debuff their unit, you have to realize that it's a, it's literally a 50-50 chance. Unless you're going to throw all 28 of your dice into it and have no buffs. If they have a level three Psyker, let's say they have like Tigerius, they're canceling on threes. You know, let's say they have one like one stupid Grey Knight element in there. Let's say they have Stern, so they can have Sanctuary. They're blocking on fours, rerolling ones. Like you're literally never gonna get a Malediction off on a Space Marine Death Star. Viking T Bagger. Ooh, this looks good. Take a look at this. this is some really good cloth work by Viking Teabagger. Good job, Valkyrie. I'm really impressed. That is real classy, homie. That is classy. Good job, man. Yeah, Cosmic Cubicle. Chaos is playable. The new... The, there's definitely... It's 100% better than it was last week. I think that, like, the Chaos Warband is really strong because the Jet is secure. So you can play, you can literally pay, like, double Chaos Warband at 1,500 points. You know, just have a, so much subjective secure. And that's how the Demi Companies win. The problem is, is, like, you're, you don't have near as much offense as they do. But there's play, there's, there's combos. I paint on Twitch. Let's take a look at what I paint on Twitch. Oh, nice. I paint on Twitch is coming in a clutch with some amazing work. Let's show this off. Yo, check that out. 
Good job, my man. So I assume you're you're streaming on Twitch too. Valkyrie forty four posted a link to her Facebook page. Definitely check it out. She does good work. Chaos Ascendant. Wow, I have to show this off, guys. I just do. Take a look at this. Chaos Ascendant. Got that Reaver Titan. Looking beast mode. Chaos all day. Yeah, I paint on Twitch as I'm fucking around. So I paint on Twitch, you're not quite that you're not quite streaming yet. Fossil Parrot. Space wolves are one of the strongest things you can play, brother. They are like some of the best Space Marine Death Stars use all of them use Space Wolves. Viking Teabagger, I'm so slow. Watch two Twitch streams of Slow Fuse to get that. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright. Back to work, guys. You guys are doing amazing work out there. Cheers to you guys. Finish what's in my cup. I'm always so impressed by your guys' work. Pretty sure some people are going to be redeeming some loot crates after today's episode. Dumbo, you got to get out of here. Go to work. All right, man. Appreciate it, homie. I'll check my Facebook here in a minute. Viking Teabagger getting distracted watching stream. I heard that, homie. I heard that. Valkyrie44, that is a good point. The Saldoc, PayPal is being a... right now. I don't... I don't know what you mean. What, what is PayPal doing? Is PayPal mad at you? PayPal sometimes gets mad at me too, don't worry. All right, back to it. Glad to hear that, guys. PayPal's down. What country do you live in, man? PayPal's never down. <laughs> All right. I really want to get these chevrons done. So let's work on these. Like I said, I really want to fix this one right here and then go back on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my flash gets back out. My golden yellow out. All right. You can see how I'm not I'm not happy with what's going on here. Uh, let's 
So we're cutting back into that black to, to make that black line more skinny. And now, we're going to have to blend the orange back in with the yellow. Like that. But now we have to make them all match. I mean, because the thing is, it's orky, so it can be a little weird. But you don't want it to be too weird. You know? You want there to be a nice, clear, straight line that the eye follows. And it's it, the only thing that's weird is because it goes, like, down around the axe blade. So no matter what angle you look on it, it's always going to look a little off. Are we censored? I didn't think we were. That might be Twitch, Saldoc. Um, I don't have any current bot settings that I'm aware of that censors our language. Maybe I do by accident. Alright, real quick, I'm going to grab some more black. Make sure our black is looking good. Because we've done so much modifying, the black got a little off. Doing so much erasing. And this one right here still needs a little work, but we'll come back to it. We'll let this whole side dry. We'll go to this side. Making sure our lines are straight. That's key here. As I said before. Up top. Not happy with that. They're definitely struggling. <laughs> it's hard to get in the cradle. Slow fuse. What's up, player? Let's get that hot orange on deck again. Kind of using that hot orange to redirect the black stripes into the direction we want. Just like that. Not too shabby. I'm okay with that for now. Got to get a little bit more golden yellow out. Probably this weekend we're going to be doing a Chaos Warband battle report with Iron Wars. On the Long War. So that might be, um, that might be out real soon. We're in frame. So I'm coming back in with golden yellow and blending it in a little bit with that orange. Just a little bit. Just so it's not so Excellent. abrupt. Abrupt. Dyslexican one. Thanks for the follow, homie. Mmm. 
Truly appreciate it, brother. Really appreciate the follows. But you know what I like the most? I like when you guys share your pictures so I can know that this community is just working together and doing all that sick fucking artwork together. Like, that's why I started streaming, man. Somebody hit me up the other day and said, hey, thanks for communicating with your fans. And I said, I don't have fans. I have friends. Like, I literally talk to everybody, add everyone as a friend, because I go to all the events and I, and I hang out with everyone. I just feel like I'm lucky that I have so many friends online. Because <laughs> I do like the internet. I think it's a powerful social tool that allows me to meet people I never would have met before. And now we have like a rapport. So when we guys, when we all meet up at like Adepticon, we already know each other. You say, hey, I'm Saldon. Hey, I know you. Or when I meet Dumba and he comes and he tries to punch me in the stomach because he's an asshole. I get him in trouble with his lady a lot though. So <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, we're also working on some more AOS stuff, low life. And for Gen Z, I mean, you know we're bringing them out. We got to. Yeah, we're talking about doing some Alpha Legion stuff too, Valkyrie. <laughs> hey, Redu, he knows what's up. All right, so I'm feeling much better about those lines. It's all about getting those gradations in there for me at least. That's like my favorite part about anything is getting fun transitions. So I'm going to pull a little bit more flash gets out. Viking Teabagger, I agree. I've been so blown away by the community online here. Everywhere else I go, it's just like a cesspool of assholes and hate fucking trolls here on this live medium I mean we just like struck gold with this like positivity man like I just you know I don't like I didn't like doing live before because everyone was just so fucking mean but this is where the community is you know how many people you know how many people would get banned from spiky bits hobbies a week for being just assholes you know All right, getting that nice highlight in there. Feeling much better about this. Ty went and got your black shields rocking the power of his lightning combo. It's the ultimate combo. It's the unbeatable combo. Coming back in and adding some flash gates to all this. To really brighten it up. To orcify it. Alright, I'm happy with that. At least for now. Off camera, I'll come back in and tighten it up and I'll do and it'll be in the, it'll make it in the uh, tutorial next week of because it's just so hard to do this stuff on, on camera, like that kind of detail work. I will tighten it up and show you guys it on video later. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that ride right there. And I'm just going to quickly bang out some details on these checkers. You're back, Dumma? <laughs> Fucking teabagger. Anonymity that people are... Yeah, that's absolutely anonymity. People are just not that mean in real life, you know? Just 
dropping a couple quick highlights on these checkers. Right here. You know how I like to do just some simple shit for the orcs. Just mix it up some more gray. This side real quick. Fuck that one up. Luckily, I'd come back in and fix it. Real orky, you know, like just real drawn on there. Clean them up. Tighten them up just real quick, you know, ba just bang them out. And then you just go back and forth as many times as you want. You know, pull any type of highlight out you want. We're going to, like I said, the rest, of, I'm going to detail these out on the video for next week because I want to move forward on this. See what you guys are saying. All right, so I want to paint these cables right quick. What's a good color? What's a good bright color to work on these cables? I mean, I'm thinking red for sure for one of them. What do you guys think? I'm not waiting. Red. We we'll pulled out some bloody red real quick with a little bit of orange mixed in. All right, the first one's red, the second one's green, the third one's pink. That's the order of operations. All right. The red does look good there. Might have to do them both red. Harvey Ballstein, red. Tywin and red all day. Rick to Scale Studios, I'll do the one up top purple. Thing is, contrast is great, but red also complements. Like, red will create an ex a very garish complement to yellow. Purple is the is is a complementary color only because it's opposite. But colors can still match without being complementary. But I like where your head's at. I'm thinking about using a purple too. Just dropping a little hot orange on top. Just like that. 
Because I really think that looks solid. I'm going to switch to Warlock Purple. I think I got some laying around. Where'd you put it? Excellent! NDNF. I think I said that right. Thanks for the follow, homie. Looking for my purple, and I know Iron Head put it somewhere. It's literally right in front of me. Yeah, red also ties in. That's another good point, Harvey Ballstein. All right. We're getting some purple out. This is a real dark purple. Because I want to be able to highlight it. Watain clan is the shit. Saldak knows. Saldak. Oh, it's too watery. Pink stormtroopers look fresh. There it is. Super orky. This is this is um royal purple. Yeah, so it's super deep. We got another wire on the other side of this chopper down here. I think this is very fitting for the big mech to have all this action going on on his bike. I think it's pretty cool. We gotta highlight those just real quick. We're gonna pull out some pink. Pulling out a little bit of squid pink. And we just mix it in with the purple. Quick, aggressive, wet blend right here. Just like that. Easy mode. There it is. Feeling good about that. Typhus Touch, what's up, player? Saldoc, hazard markings on the wires. Not doing it. All right, I had my fill of hazard stripes today. But imagine, it's going to be so rusted up, it's going to look so fresh. There is some of the piping, the rubber the rubber pipe right here. I always paint these black. Cuz like that's like definitely like a wire insulator. That's like some definitely some conduit right there, some flex conduit. Get that. Easy. 
Easy mode. Oh man. Painting things silver than solid black is so hard. Mm. I want to know what the hard part is going to be too, or at least the fun part. You see like how thick these ends of these choppers are with these, these, these patterns that we put on them? Of course, you know, I'm going to have to bring the checker in around it. You see? You have to continue it. You see? Bring it around. The problem is, is that this side is so fat, you can't just run the checkers all the way across. You have to do a new pattern. So you have two planes of checkers on these spikes that we have to do. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's always the best. Checkers is life, Valor Steel. We still have to highlight this whole skull up still. Like he needs some love. We dirty we orked him up. He's looking suitably orky. Suitably orky. You guys got anything you want to share with me? The Big Mac bike is looking dope. Dumma, I'm not mad at you anymore. That was a good idea to make me do all that. I think that came out fresh as shit. A little bit more work, it'll be perfect. Totally Big Mac. Oh, let me show you guys one, one something real quick. Anyone who's just tuning in, you guys want to see the Tree Lords again? This will be the last time I show them today. So here's the new Summer Tree Lord right here that we're working on. He's almost done. Not quite finished yet. And we have one more to paint. We got to paint a winter one. But here's the fall one, you guys remember. Tutorials inbound on the OSL effects and the sword. Definitely fucking Patreon has all the videos. And I think YouTube, the sword video drops tomorrow, uh, next week. But yeah, here they are. The two, the two tree lords. Third one inbound, guys. Show me what you guys got. Want to make sure everyone got a chance to see those because I have I have no pictures up yet. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna jump in this Q and A. Take the glove off. Ice tea time. Mm. Oh wait, almost almost took a drink without a cheers. 
Hold on. T6 Ted, subscriber. Thank you, player. Sal Doc for the donation. Cosmic Cubicle, fellow streamer. Richter Scale Studios, a true beast. Slanez Donkey, subscriber. Gamma Goblin, always coming in clutch. Logar was right. Keyline Prime with the subscription. Nick P1 and British Pete. Cheers, players. Also, all my donators, past and present and future, in other galaxies and parallel dimensions. Can't do without you. Okay, now that I got that cheers out of the way, let's see what you guys are posting. Valor Steel, what you got, homie? Let's see what you got. Oh, damn. Got some Death Watch on, on point right here. Valor Steel, take a look at take a look at what this guy's working on. There it is. Good job, man. A very clean execution. I really appreciate that. I like that. Sin for game. Here she is. Let's see what she's working on. This is what you're working on right now. Not bad. This looks good. Valor Steel. Yo, man, you did a great job on that, brother. Great job. Here's Sin for Game right here. This is what she's working on right now. Also a great job. I love seeing what you guys are doing. Pinyo War Gamer. I think I'm saying that right. Thanks, man. We did a series of tutorials attached to the last few Twitch streams. Definitely go back in the VODs if you want to see how we did those. Look to the YouTubes and Patreon for all the exclusive shit. Hairdo. Let's see what you got. There we go. Hairdo on point. This looks good. Oh, gigantic. Not bad, brother. I feel that. I love it. Red Baron. Let's see what you got. Oh, this looks dope. You said this is a an HQ base that you made? This is really interesting. Take a look at this, guys. Custom base right here. Um... I don't think you need to do much more to that line because the, the model is going to be covering it. Like, you definitely need to find that balance of like, if that's a space ring that's going to be standing on there, you're not going to see much of that base. But it looks amazing. Sketchy mouse. Oh, you didn't miss anything, bro. We just started. Of course, I'm teasing you. Been working for almost three hours. Yeah, Librarian and Terminator Armor is going to cover that base up. So just do your... I mean, you don't need to go beast on uh, detail. Just detail it up reasonably and you'll be fine. Commander Kino, what's up? Pimpin! Yo. Yo, a lot of shit happened, man. We worked on... Um, we worked on this Orc Big Mech bike right here. Did all this crazy shit on it. Give him the total love of being a Big Mech. Working on that front panel. We showed off some shit this stream. Right now we're doing some show and tell. Seeing what the community's been working on. Everything you guys show to me will trickle down to YouTube and get seen by thousands and thousands of people as we go. And that's what I'm all about, man. Like the community showing people's work to everyone to create inspiration and better paid jobs. Dr. One Picks. I was in the right? PX. One PX. 
This is nice. I like this. Good use. Good use of techniques here, brother. Solid techniques implemented. Looks like some uh, good execution of wash technique, dry brush technique, uh, technical effects. That's very nice, man. I like it. Get your links in, guys. Excellent! AKA Cal, thanks for the follow, brother. Richter Scale Studios, playing with the Chinese knockoff of the Iwata, there is a big difference in performance. Yep. Yeah, that's what I hear, man. Yeah. No doubt. I, I just clicked on your link to look at it. Commander Kino, you gotta get some more, brother. Well, let me show you guys what I got. This is gonna be coming soon. Oh, yes. If you guys are looking. You guys see this? What is this? New in box? Yo. Giveaway soon, brother. We're gonna be <laughs> we're not playing games on the stream anymore, man. I take the donations, I put them I reinvest them back in the stream, upgrade the equipment, and make sure we have a suitable amount of gifts to give back. Last week we gave away Scary Terry. Or earlier this week, uh top do donator giveaway. But don't worry, every giveaway isn't gonna be a top donator giveaway. Just like if, if it's something I spent a lot of hours painting, it probably will be. But something like the Bloodthirster, we're going to give it away in a different, totally different matter. So definitely look for that. We've got t-shirts on the horizon. Let me show if I can show you guys a work in progress. Let me see. You guys want to see a work in progress? Um, hang tight, guys. I'm going to take this text message. And we are going to email it to ourselves so I can throw it up on screen. You know what I'm saying? This is going as fast as I can. This is going to be this. This is a sneak peek of the next level painting T-shirt. Why can't I get it? All right, we're gonna have to do this a different way. All right, we're gonna do this so ghetto. You guys see this? This is, uh, of course, let's see if we can get it to do it again. This is the work in progress. Let me caution 66. Well, this is the design we're working on. Always keep the tip clean. Chaos airbrush. Exclusive t-shirt design coming in soon. Giveaways near you guys. That's on deck right now. We got a lot of things, homies. Coyote's Angel. Yori. Oh, sucks, man. 
<laughs> I worked at Scale Studios. Looked like dope smoke for a second. It's probably because I was vaping. Of course. Of course. You guys got any more show and tells? They're def the Kratisberg. There will definitely be text. It will definitely say, always keep the tip clean. Cad Cow, what's up, player? Grazer, do you really think I'm going to sell these shirts? Come on, man. You know I'm going to give them away, dog. You know I'm going to give them away. They are not, like, I promise you, these shirts are not going to be for, for sale. Literally not going to be for sale. They're going to be giveaway items. The t-shirt sales game is not a game I want to be in. I'd rather just spend this super amount of high costs to make low prints and just give them away. Oh, the logo? Yeah, it's, um, I'll show you guys again. It's a uh, chaos tentacles crawling out of the pot, out of the airbrush pot. See? Totally chaos airbrush, homie. Totally chaos. But we're, it's got to get colored and everything, guys. Oh, we got a Hellbrute? Let me take a look at it. Oh, missed a couple links. All right, let's load this one up. Take a look at this. That looks so fresh. I paint on Twitch. Oh, this does look good. I paint on Twitch. You're not playing games, homie. That looks so tight. You're so good. But take a look at this Hellbrew, guys. You know I love chaos. That's a lot of contrast. That's uh, Flab Blucher. Flab Blucher? Saying that right? Vaughn Badgeworth coming in with another show and tell item. Another sick mini. Let's see if I can catch a screenshot of this. Bomb badge worth. Take a look at this show and tell item. Another sick model by Vaughn Badgeworth. Yori checking in. What's up, player? Sorry you came in here at the end. We are about to pass the torch to our man, Slow Fuse Gaming. We did a lot of work today. Yori. Congratulations on winning yourself enough Yo Dogs to get a, a another swag crate, I think, after not too long. Sorry that you lost out on the Corn Lord last week. But I promise I will do I will do you solid. And we will work on another Corn Lord together. Cause now Yori is a streamer. Gotta check him out. But look at this. This is what we worked on today, Yori. And also, Yori, I think Yori is just tuning in. We were showing this off because I think you, uh, I think you might have seen this on Patreon already. The Summer Grove, Tree Lord Ancient. So you missed some stuff today, brother. But you guys aren't going to want to go anywhere because we're about to do our epic bromance with Slow Fuse Gaming. I locked him out of Discord, apparently. He's lying. He has, he has authorization. Authorization.
He has the correct role. But he has to unhost me and join in on this bromance. Oh, that's your lady? Oh, that's... I'm so glad. Because I think I'm supposed to uh, be doing her a uh, uh, corn lord here soon. Heard she was disappointed she didn't win Scary Terry. So we're going to work on something together because... I can't help it. I just gotta paint more corn. Saldoc. Everyone needs to click on Saldoc's link immediately. Is this your green stuff work? It's a whole gallery of green stuff work. It looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> Why don't you just jump Always on the right channel? Door. Always locking you door. You are literally, you have permission to be in any one of these channels except one. Except for that one. <laughs> it says you have bromance permission. I don't know what to tell you. It gives me, it gives me the big stop sign. It gives me the big nope. Well, everyone, we're close. Um, we're about to start our epic bromance. This is my man, Jason, a.k.a. Slow Fuse Gaming. This guy is the literal man. The literal, no, I, I beg to differ. You are the literal man. But hello, everybody. Um, I want to thank everyone who watched me paint some crazy-ass orc chevrons and checkers. Basically, painting an Iron Warrior's uh, orc biker today. That was very difficult. I also want to thank all the new subscribers and donators. Truly appreciate it. And remember, we're about to flood this man's stream with some love. So when I oh, click God. over to him, when I host him. Oh, God. You're gonna have. You're gonna wanna. You're gonna wanna click on his link. You're gonna wanna actually click on Slow Fuse's link and go to his page. Because if you watch from this page, like no one's gonna see you in chat. So you're gonna wanna wait for the host. Then you're gonna wanna click over, and then you're gonna wanna show Slow Fuse gave me some love. Oh God. And I'm <laughs> gonna coming. be. I'm gonna be joining him on his channel for a little bit, so nothing's gonna change. All right. God, do I have everything? <laughs> 